everybody, happy Saturday. How are you guys doing today? Well, today is not the actual anniversary. Tomorrow is of when the Beatles first landed in America. I don't know if you guys have ever seen or own um, the little documentary called The Beatles' First U.S. Visit. If you have never seen that, I think it got taken off of YouTube. They have like the making of, I don't think they have the actual um, documentary. Please, please, please watch it because it is such a cool documentary. And this is what my video is going to be about today. I'm going to talk to you about everything that is great about the Beatles' first U.S. visit. What was so great about the Beatles' first U.S. visit? I'll tell you. First off, the Beatles could not have made a better impression. I feel like when the Beatles first got here, the press was sort of, let's just say, out to get them. Let's just say that. Like, you know, the press were, you know, coming at them with questions. They were probably expecting them to get overwhelmed or not have any personality or try and ask a question that they'll, you know, reveal some sort of thing, you know, you know what I mean? Like, inside their heads, you know, how the press is. But the Beatles, during that whole press conference, they were so just laid back and relaxed and themselves and they were, every question they got asked, they were mainly giving a sarcastic response to. They rarely gave an actual answer. No! Sorry. Next question. <laughs> no, we need money first. <laughs> you want to get a haircut at all? No. No. Nope. No. Nope. I had one yesterday. <laughs> That's no lie. True. <laughs> I feel like the press thought they were different than sort of any other celebrity. Add on to that whole thing, their appearances on the Ed Sullivan Show, concert at the Washington Coliseum, you know, just the general, all the fans, the general hysterics that were going on. The Beatles definitely proved that they were not just, you know, a looks sort of band. They had talent, they had personalities, and they were just, they just didn't care. Another great thing is the classic. I think that the confusion and the genuinely terrified look on Paul's face is the best thing to come out of this trip. Another great thing, footage of Beatlemaniacs in America. The girls outside of that hotel are my heart and my soul. Oh, yes we do! We love you! When they're screaming they can't get the candy to the Beatles, when they're singing and chanting and screaming and just running everywhere, you can't help but relate. You, you know that is us Beatles fans. You know that is us. The Beatles messing around in their hotel rooms. Okay. To Huntley Brinkley Report. Uh, hello, uh, W.I.N.A. 10 10! Yeah. The people are. Well, Mr. Starr, the, the, the viewers are watching you. The viewers are watching you now. Hi! Ah! Star! Mother! Oh! Ring no, I do not snap! Oh! That's good! I do not snap! Good, look at that! You always see that funny and goofy and weird and silly side of the Beatles. But this is like to the extreme. They are just full on like playing it up for the camera. Like, oh my god, every, it's like every single moment in a hotel, in their hotel room is just so funny. Strawberry Fields Forever. Channel two. Five, six. I to get on channel two. Okay. We're on this thing now. I know a lot of people notice this, but have you guys? It sounds like the intro to Strawberry Fields Forever. It sounds like a working demo thing going. So it's really cool that, you know, three years, yeah, three years before that, he had that little tune in his head. I think it's one of the freakiest things to come out of this trip. The next greatest thing, I'm not even going to attempt to impersonate, so I'll just show you the clip. A lot of people call about me throat. 
Well, the church's okay now, you see. If you don't get why this is great, I'm just at a loss for words if you don't get why that is so great. Probably one of the top three greatest things out of this trip. The train ride. So many classic Beatles moments came out of this. George and John, buddies and pals. We are smoking our Marlboro. George and John, buddies and pals. I'm not in a laughing mood even. I'm not in a laughing mood even. It's me. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> Ringo's reaction to George coughing on him. <coughs> Beatles are probably annoying so many people, and that just makes it even better. The freshman in the back of the car, water and more water. water. <laughs> Another thing. Ringo not knowing where he is. Great being here in New York. Okay. Oh, is that the place? I don't know. Washington. That is just as Ringo as it gets. Another great moment is the Washington Coliseum concert. You see footage of Beatles concerts all the time, and yes, it's chaos and they're screaming, and things being thrown, people passing out, and the Beatles just looking like they're having fun, yet they're terrified. This concert is so unbelievable. They are surrounded by screaming fans who are louder than the music. Loudness level reminds me of Shea. And we all we all know Shea Stadium was loud. But you can't help but feel bad for them during this concert. You see things getting thrown at them, shrieking. You can barely hear them singing. Ringo's little thing to spin the drum kit was not working and nobody was helping him. That was a little sad, but funny. Hello. This part of this boy. Because I don't know about you, but every time this boy is on, whether I'm singing it or just singing it in my head, that, I have to do that part. It's just, it's stuck in there permanently. I can't erase that part. And lastly, the Beatles returning home. I'm not from England. I don't relate. But the looks on all those little English girls' faces when the Beatles are coming back, back to where they started, their first fans, well, they are, no, no, no quotation marks. They were their first fans. Are you know, you know, with the signs, welcome home, boys. It's just nice. It's like, you know, they're coming home to where they started. This giant homecoming for them. Everybody, everybody's still there. Everybody's cheering for them. And they, we, you could show, even though they don't see the Beatles every day, they probably miss them every day they weren't in England. And on a sentimental note. How about that? Hope you enjoyed this video. Happy anniversary to the Beatles first coming to America. This is when it happened, people! This is when they started to get huge. Did I miss out on any of the great things that came out of the Beatles' first U.S. visit? Have a good week. Comment if you got any more moments, and uh, I'll see you next week.